Hello everyone uh, I'm Anish Anand once again back with some Ableton video today I'll be telling you how to make a low pass and a high pass single knob filter same as in uh, Pioneer DJ mixers and now they're coming uh, on to the uh, native instruments uh, tractor controllers also control S4 S2 S3 so I really like this uh, single knob thing where you turn your knob on to the left and you get the low pass feel and if you turn your no knob uh, towards your right you get this high pass feel so how to make that knob on your external midi controller in ableton let's see so as you can see i have uh, two tracks one is audio and one is uh, a MIDI track on audio I'm recording my vocals uh, as I'm speaking to you uh, on a microphone on second I have this 808 core kit uh, on the MIDI track on which we'll be applying that uh, auto filter uh, effect so what we're gonna do is we'll put auto filter onto this MIDI track simply drag the auto filter onto the 808 core kit channel click on the auto filter then give it a command command g it would group that auto filter after the auto filter has been grouped you will get this uh, macro show and hide then uh, show and hide chain list just click on the macro show and hide it will show you these eight macros uh, also click on this uh, chain show and hide it will uh, show you the chains that are into this group uh, obviously we don't have any uh, chains other than this one as we have only one device and one chain so let me uh, rename this chain click command R to rename it I'll rename it um, low pass and let me create one more chain now to create the another chain you need to click on the secondary button on your mouse and it will give you an option of create chain rename this chain to high pass okay now you'll see as soon as you click on the low pass thing uh, it is showing us the auto filter that we assign to the 808 core kit and as soon as we click on the high pass there is no device no effects with us so we'll uh, grab one more auto filter onto it we'll change the filter type to high pass now what we'll do is we are gonna map our filter frequencies onto our macro one knob so i'll click low pass I'll click right on my filter frequency and I'll click on map to macro 1 I'll do the same on the high pass right click map to frequency let me rename macro 1 knob again command R to filter this is my filter knob now what I'll do is I'll create one more chain it would be a dummy chain let's rename I'll rename it to 808 or the track name I've just named it I'll just tell you why I made this third uh, dummy chain <coughs> so now I'll uh, I want to see the chain sections I'll just uh, click on this show chain selector editor I will open the editor chain editor can you see these small clip kind of things that are on the left which are gray in color and they have a white dot kind of a thing these are the zones uh, these are the zones of our chain that we need to assign properly to our parameters so that if while uh, rotate my macro I'll get the proper filter thing because as soon uh, right now if I'll play this 
808 core kit and I play with this filter knob there is no effect now there is a reason why is there why why there is no effect so the reason is if I'll select the high pass thing and the knob is on the left the moment I rotate my knob towards the right all these frequencies are covered by my low pass filter and the moment I rotate my knob towards the left again the frequencies are covered by the high pass filter so that is why there is no effect of the filter on my track to make that effect uh, we need to designate proper zones for our frequencies so what I'll do is low pass what I'll do is I'll grab I'll, I'll i'll drag my zone to 62 parameter i'll pull my high pass till 66 and drag it till 127 and i'll simply start my third dummy 808 from maybe 16 or 17 and end till 113 so what I did is I divided my zones of the parameters and now I need to map this chain selector ruler to the same uh, filter knob now if I rotate my knob it will select the zones and the density of the parameter so let us check the sound right now what what sound are we getting okay so we have that effect but we don't have a proper cross fading kind of a effect that is why because we need to create some cross fades and i also i i also want that when my filter knob is in between um in between uh, 64 maybe from 63 to 65 parameter it should sound the original track i i don't want any colorization of the effect on my track so what i do is I'll uh, click on uh, these faders that are present and I'll move it towards the end same as high pass and I'll do it for the dummy click also I'll keep it till 65 if I'm pulling it from the right side I want the effect to start i want my high pass effect to start from the uh, you know uh, 66 uh, thing and my low pass should start from 64 so now we'll listen to it how it sounds yeah now it sounds better so now we simply what we'll do is we're gonna be mapping this filter to my uh, external mixer simply need to go to midi map button click on this on the right side upper leg uh, right side um, click on the filter knob and rotate your knob on the mixer that's it nothing else your uh, filter knob has been mapped now you can play it from there So that was the simple knob that I created on the mixer. If you need to, uh, uh, if you need that wah wah sound, you can increase your uh, or play with. Or you can uh, map your uh, resonance on the macro filter once again, and you can change your uh, parameters by going on to this group map thing and. 
playing with the frequencies how much uh, frequency do you want for the resonance and how much do you want uh, your knob to you know uh, give you the wah wah sound or kind of thing so that was it it was a small tutorial and um, uh, you can also uh, uh, you can also put flanger you can also put a delay you can uh put on echo you can actually put on devices on it and uh, map it onto different macros uh, which are empty macro 2 macro 3 macro 4 you can uh, make very complex effect tracks if you want to so that's how it is done hope you like the video that's me anish anand saying bye bye and stay safe i know what is happening with the world it's like really really sad because of the coronavirus everywhere uh, hygiene is the thing that will save you, obviously. So stay healthy, stay hygienically fit. Uh, I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye.